Hi there! In this video I would like to show you a new feature of Ninja Spread, which is called Historical Relative Value. This feature is enabled for the calendar scanner. So if you go into calendar search and for example you select SPY as the ticker symbol, there is a new checkbox appearing here, which says Historical RV, RV stands for Relative Value. And if you check this checkbox, then the search will also show you the relative values of SPY in the past. That's why it's called historical relative value. So if you look at the result table, you will see four new columns. These are the four new columns. RV stands for relative value, historical average RV, RV different in percentage point, and RV count. So RV stands for relative value, which means that Every time you run it, the price of the calendar spread will be divided by the ticker symbol underlying price. So right now 89 will be divided by 404.71, which comes to 0 0.22. And what I'm doing in this calculation is that I am comparing this type of calendar spread with historical prices. So right now I have downloaded end of day data from January 1st, 2019. So it's more than three years of historical data. And what I'm doing here is comparing this type of calendar with historical calendar prices. So in the historical data set, what I'm looking for is a calendar spread where there is 31 to 38 days until expiration. The front data is around 28 and the implied volatilities are almost the same as the present calendar spread. And if I find something similar to this spread, I count it as 1. This is shown here as RV count. So RV count stands for how many times have I seen similar calendar spread in the past and it says 85. And what was the historical average relative value of those 85 calendar spreads in the past and how does this compare to the present price and this is shown in RV diff percentage points so right now what you can see here is that the present RV is 0 0.22 which is 8.3 percent cheaper than the historical average RV Right now you will see only cheaper ones shown in this result set. But if we scan for a different, um, different combination, for example, 3-day expiration and let's say 0 to 21 days to expiration, and I said 3 to 7, 3 yes, and for example 20, 40 data, let's see how they compare to historical values. For example, if you sort this table by RV diff percentage, it shows you that the cheapest one right now is this calendar spread compared to the historical examples. But it's also very important to see how many times have I found something similar. So right now it's 44. The higher the number, the more reliable the statistics is. So this is the lowest number and this is the highest, 40, 45 for example. But we can also um, broaden our search, for example, 3, 7, 10, like days to exp uh, expiration differences, and 10, 40 data, and okay, let's, let's keep the rest the same, like skew we set to 100, and this takes a lot of time because of the historical data. RV count is zero. Sometimes I don't see anything similar. So that's why you see RV count zero. But if I, if I sort by RV count, this has the most reliable statistics in the past because I have found 75 instances of something similar in the past, which had 13 days to 20 days expiration differences, this type of um, delta and uh, almost the same implied volatility. And right now what you can see here is the relative value of the present calendar 
is 12 percentage point lower or cheaper than the historical average. It does not tell you anything about the future, so it's not telling you that it will make you a profit. It just shows you that this is cheaper than the historical average. Right now you can see more expensive ones, like this one, like this one. They are more expensive than in the past. 8.9 percentage point and stuff like that. You can you can always sort the table by R with the diff percentage column. So this is the most expensive one compared to historical average. And it has relatively good statistics sample size, 63 instances in the past. I have enabled this feature for SPY, IV, IWM, QQQ, and SPX. So these are the four tickers you can run this scanner or historical relative value on. We haven't found anything because it's uh, expensive. This scan takes time because I have to run a lot of historical scans. So as you can see, there are zero ones, which means I haven't found anything similar. And if you sort by this column, these are cheaper ones and these are more expensive ones compared to the past. What was the uh, highest RV count? Oh, wow, that's a lot. 195 instances in the past that looks similar to this one. So this is the new feature I wanted to cover in this video. And please remember that if you click on historic RV, that's how it's run. If you uncheck it, there will be no historical average or data in the result set. So if you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks for your attention. Bye.